This program is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted around the world and across America. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen, and uniting all hunters. <laughs> That's Keith Warren, and this is The High Road. I was looking at some deer out there. Next thing I know, the camera fogged up. So I turned the heater off. Take the heater, put it out of the blind. So it cools back off, and so hopefully the lens gets clean, and then all of a sudden, it freezes. And I'll look up, and there is a big old bush buck out there. Man, I thought you would never get here. I shot hours ago. Right on. <laughs> I shot a great big fat buck. I'm talking about he is an old sucker. He couldn't have gone far. Well, let's, go, let's go find him. <laughs> yeah, you can see he sprayed through here big time. Man, we had a good time. Keith came down here first morning out. He shot himself a real nice big bush buck. It's a mature buck. I'm sure he's four years or older. He's got the dark antlers, he's big bodied. He's happy, I'm happy, and we're really, we're really pumped. I guess what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back over there and get the, get the four-wheeler. I don't know what I'm gonna do the remainder of the week. Our hunts are usually six days long, and uh, now, it was the first morning we shot that deer. Now we're, uh, he's wondering what he can do. What he doesn't realize is I've got a wilderness preserve and we're gonna see if we get the same luck out in the wilderness preserve as we had in the wild. The Little Woody River is about two miles to the north of us here and I am so stoked, I cannot believe it. I came all the way up here to Canada and had no earthly idea that Lance had a wilderness preserve. Anyway, what I'm doing, I, I took a really super buck on the very first morning of my hunt. And uh, he said, I got a surprise for you. If you help me manage, I'll let you go hunt my wilderness preserve. So heck, I got the remainder of the week. I'm sure I want to see some big deer and this is about as good as it gets. It's a six by six, completely enclosed, blind. So this is pretty cool. I want to get uh, seated and uh, there's no telling what I'm going to say, but I'm here to help you manage. I guess what makes it special here at Woody River is we offer two hunts. We offer the free range whitetail hunt where you can go out in the Saskatchewan wilderness, shoot a big bush buck, and we can also go in our wilderness preserve and shoot a buck, shoot a buck in there also. And I guess when someone drives all the way to Saskatchewan and they, they want to maximize on their hunt. We can shoot two bucks, it's a good hunt, and it's fair value for your money. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamma Precision Air Rifles, Glock, Record Rack, Oil Field Camo, and Heartcraft Hunting Products.
I'm gonna do, I sent a bunch of cameras up here for Lance to put out and he's been doing so, but I like to kind of scout around myself to do some exploring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna, there's some rubs, some fresh rubs, matter of fact, and I'm gonna put a camera out, some special golden esters and see what happens. Before I go in there, I'm gonna I need to do this. Kill my scent. All right, let's go on in. It's gonna be really nice right there before we turn it on. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Now when you do this, let me recommend you wearing latex gloves. The reason why is just to keep your scent off the area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and just completely saturate this Kiwick right here. Goodness, I'm talking it is cold. Okay, we're gonna just like this. Okay. Now what we want to do is to put it high enough up in a tree where deer cannot touch it. You know what we're gonna do too? What the heck? We're gonna come over here. Put another one right here. Now we're going to turn the camera on. Hunting in a wilderness preserve, well, it's kind of different than just about any other preserve I've ever been in. First off, it, it's, it's, the habitat is different, it's thick. This is wilderness, it is exactly the same as the provincial forest, except a little bit more open. That's it. It is unbelievable. The amount of deer outside, inside, it's just a matter of finding the right deer. Gotta be patient, but as long as I'm seeing big deer, I'm pretty patient. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. The rut, it is cranked on. I mean, it's the difference between night and day from yesterday to today. I'm leaving my stuff in the blind. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight because I'm gonna be right back here at daylight. This is awesome. Off Power Polaris presents Viewer Feedback. All right, this one's from somebody who does not want me to mention their name. Uh, it says, hello, Keith. Just got back three weeks ago from the Mountain View Elk Ranch. Hunting a fenced area was a very different experience for me. Never hunted that way before. My questions are, what is your take or feelings on this? I watched your show, got the info on it afterwards. Do you think this is true hunting? I enjoyed the Walters hospitality and the beautiful scenery. Don't want you to use my name on the show. Thanks for your time. Uh, I'm assuming this is a real letter. Is it? It's an email. So is that a letter? I don't know, it's kind of like, is hunting behind a high fence really a hunt? Um, I don't know, thank goodness we live in a country where we have the freedom to choose where we hunt and how we hunt. I loved going up to Mountain View Elk Ranch. Uh, the scenery is beautiful, the, uh, the elk are magnificent, and the Walters family that run the place, they're, they're about as good as you can get, and to me, it's a great elk hunt. So 
That's a good question, and uh, I'm assuming you enjoyed it too. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconnaissance Game Cameras, Savage Arms, The Yukon Cold Lock by Igloo, Grizzly Cartridge Company, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. The deer up here are huge. Uh, I mean, I don't know what they eat this time of year, but they are absolutely huge. I mean, the, their, their bodies, these are 250 to 300 pound deer, and they've had some killed that are bigger than that. So as you're looking at some of these trophy bucks and their antlers look big on them, they're really big because perspective wise, I mean, you think you're looking at a 250 to 300 pound animal and his antlers already look big, wait till you get up there and you put your hands on them. Oh my gosh. That is exactly the kind of deer that they wanted me to take. That is a management deer. It's a beautiful, beautiful management deer. And this is a classic Canadian hunt. I mean, this is absolutely wonderful. He is, he's a great big body, big old eight point buck. And I am thrilled to death with him. He was going over there. I could actually hear him grunting right before I stopped him. That's awesome. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stay put here a little bit. I'm going to warm back up. We've got the windows open and the breeze is going through here. We're going to warm back up. I'm going to go out there and check him out. But that's a beautiful management buck right here on the Woody River in Saskatchewan. <sighs> Baby. It is so cold out here. Every one of his blinds, look, he is right here, got a heater. But we can't have the heater in the blind because it's gonna fog up the camera. I don't know what it is about hunting. At least hunting for me. It's like, it either happens at the very first of the hunt or success happens at the very last minute. And this time, past the last minute. Not very often I get to track a deer in the snow. The trophy deer are so big. I mean, they're, oh, look at the blood here. Look at here. Oh, oh, look at here. Not very often I get to do this. Track one in the snow, he couldn't be far. Oh, look at this beautiful animal. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This deer is a lot bigger than what I thought. The size of neck on this dude. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I mean, look at the snow on him, froze all up. Look how heavy his antlers are. Look at that, got a little bit of stuff on him right there. This is the perfect, perfect way for me to end a hunt. Get over here. This right here is incredible okay i'm going to talk to you about value okay i mean with the economy the way it is now hunting is not one of those kind of things i mean that, that you can afford to go do all the time but when you come up here to the woody river lance miller he's a young man he is a native from up here born and raised here he knows the woods like the back of his hand and he creates great value for his deer hunters 
You can come up here when you hunt with Lance, okay? You can take a deer in the uh, provincial forest, over a million acres. And that's what we did on this trip. And I didn't think I was gonna get it done just as fast as I did. I got it done the very first morning. And then all of a sudden, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna come and he's got a wilderness preserve. And he asked me to take a management buck, okay? And I got the opportunity to take a look at so many giant trophy bucks. Big Saskatchewan trophy bucks. And of course, if somebody wants to come up here and hunt one of these trophy bucks with Lance, you can do that too. But the management buck, well, when you're up here, the way I look at it is, golly, you've paid for your airplane ticket, you got your rent car, you're, you're up here. Shoot, for the price of a management hunt? <laughs> you can't beat it. I promise you, you cannot beat it. So, if you want more information, look up Woody River Trophy Hunts with Lance, and I can promise you he's going to take care of you. And I want to thank everybody out there for watching. I want to also thank my friends over at uh, the Saskatchewan Department of Tourism for always making it wonderful for us coming up here. And this is a great trip, folks. And I want to remind each and every one of you to every day do the best you can to take the high road. Look at this bad boy here. Mm-hmm. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Striker Crossbows, Half Power Polaris, Burt Coyotes, Luminoc and Luminaros, Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind, Elevators, your easy way up, the new supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. It's cold. I just got done with that deer, and I'm going to get back in the blind and wait for Lance. But he told me this this morning. He says, "Okay." He says, "I need help." big time the rut is cranking on if you see any buck he says any buck that has less than 10 points off the mainframe rolling and I said but but I only need to kill one deer and he says I don't care he says I need your help so I'm going okay okay I got an extra bullet and I got about 45 minutes before he gets back and I have made all the racket in the world but uh, we're gonna hop in the blind and see what happens <laughs> Don't fall down. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna have a connection there. Let me tell you something. I am freaking out. Lance, Lance Miller is as good a guy as you're gonna ever meet. Lance Miller makes special deals. You gotta give him a call. I mean, just, I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how amazing this is. When Lance gets here, I think he's going to freak out because that is one gigantic deer. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm -mm. And the 270? This is the lightweight Savage Model 111. <laughs> it speaks again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What do you think about that? All right, here he is. You're not going to believe this. Okay. First off, let me set my rifle down. Next off, I want to hug you. <laughs> All right, here's what he looks like. Is this not the biggest management buck you've ever seen in your life? Lance, no, no, this, this is just, this is freaking me out. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, I don't know, He's but he is exactly what you said, isn't he? Yeah, we don't want something like this breeding. We want big, mature, framey whitetails. This, th this is a beautiful buck. I mean, it's absolutely, I mean, it's a trophy. and To me, it's a trophy, but to you, this is a management buck. This is a management buck. Okay, and when people come up and hunt with you then, up in the, the, the provincial forest, and they can come in here and they can hunt, uh, in your preserve, they can hunt for management bucks or 
true trophy bucks. Yeah. I mean, th this is amazing. And, and dollar for dollar, if you're already up here, I mean, I think you'll be really amazed how affordable well, management bucks are for sure. And I know your trophies aren't, aren't bad either. Your trophies are probably fine too. But this right here is just incredible. I mean, look at that. I, I don't know how big he is. I don't know. I don't really don't care. All I know is show the points. Just tell them how you classify this as a management buck. Okay. This is a mainframe nine. Right here, we've got the brows. So that's one point. Right here, we've got a G2, a G3, and his main beam. On that side, it's a five. You've got one, two, three, four, five. And it's a nine point. I don't want that in my herd. Good, that's good. All right, Woody River, up here in Saskatchewan. If you want more information, Lance, give him your telephone number. 306-595-2339. And he's got an awesome website. Give him that. WoodyRiverTrophyHunts.com. And when you come up here, bring a camera, lots of clothes, and uh, there's one thing I promise you when you leave here, you're gonna have a new friend. It's gonna be Lance Miller. Lance, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate the folks up here in Saskatchewan Department of Tourism always making sure that we have a great time and, and taking care of us. And I appreciate you all for watching. And I wanna encourage each and every one of you to every day in your life, do the best you can. Take the high road. That right there is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That right there is a brute.